Hi, I'm Naomi and I'm a scientist at Phosphonics. At Phosphonics, we make functionalised silicas. Our range of unique materials are designed and manufactured to have multiple collating sites to ensure stronger interactions. The materials can be used for a number of applications. For example, removing metal impurities resulting in the purification of products, to recover precious metals from waste streams, and as solid supported acid catalysts. In this video, we are going to discuss how to test the Phosphonics silica scavengers. The stirring method is critical to the performance of the scavenger. We are going to demonstrate two methods you can use, overhead stirring and shaking tube. The method you use will depend on your equipment, sample size, and the purpose of the test. Importantly, magnetic fleas and high RPMs must not be used as this can lead to grinding and attrition of the silica. The general procedure for testing the scavenger is as follows. Using the known concentration of the metal to be scavenged in the stream, calculate the mass of scavenger required for the number of molar equivalents to be added. You can do this using our calculator on the website. Measure out the mass of silica into a suitable reaction vessel. Add the volume of stream into the reaction vessel and then begin agitation and heating if required. Monitor the temperature of the liquid at regular intervals. After 24 hours, stop heating and agitation and allow to cool before filtering. There are a number of methods for filtering, for example, fluted filter paper, syringe filter, or Buchner funnel. Here we have used a Buchner funnel and a flask. Collect a sample of the treated stream for analysis. Wash the silica with a suitable solvent. Water for aqueous streams and acetone or methanol for organic streams is usually sufficient. The washed silica can be analysed for metal content, giving a metal loading value. Let's take a look at the first method, overhead stirring. Overhead stirring is recommended, for instance, where the stream sample you would like to treat is over 40 ml. The equipment you will need is appropriately sized multi-neck flask, overhead stirring unit, PTFE rod, blade and stirring gland, thermometer, hot plate and temperature feedback probe. Optional equipment will include condenser, a gas bubbler to inert the atmosphere in the flask. The stirring blade should not be in contact with the sides or base of the flask as this will destroy the silica. Stirring should agitate all the silica throughout the liquid, which is normally achieved with a stirring speed of about 100 RPM. The final method is using a shaker stage. This method is used for stream volumes below 40 ml. The equipment you will need is 20 to 40 ml reaction vial, a shaker stage with heating block if required. Weigh out the required mass of silica and volume of stream into the vial. Make sure the vials containing the stream and scavenger are tightly sealed. Screw caps with a suitable liner are advised to minimise evaporation if heating. Set the agitation so that the silica is fully dispersed through the liquid. All reactions are run with a control experiment. This is where a sample of the stream is subjected to the same experimental conditions, but it does not contain any silica. For additional help or information, please don't hesitate to get in touch.